8 Steps of Single Minutes Exchange of Dai Imagine you're in a high-performance car race. You've got the fastest car, the best driver, but there's one problem, your pit stops take too long. That's the problem many manufacturers face. The solution? Single Minute Exchange of Dai, or SMED for short. SMED is a systematic approach to reduce setup times in your production process. It's like having the best pit crew in the business, making those critical changes in under 10 minutes. Let's dive into the 8 steps of implementing SMED. Our first step is document current work elements. One of the most effective ways to visualize every step is by videotaping an entire changeover as it is currently performed and then sitting down with your team to record lists of each element, reordering as needed. Our second step is to separate internal and external setup operations. Internal operations happen when the machine is stopped, while external operations can occur while the machine is still running. The main goal of the SMED process is to have as many external elements as possible while streamlining and simplifying all other elements. Elements usually considered external might include the retrieval and inspection of parts, tools, and materials, like instructions, any cleaning tasks that can be done while the SMED process is running, and quality checks. Next, we need to shift internal activities to external activities. This is where we get creative. Consider the following techniques to convert internal elements to external. 1. Preparing parts in advance and keeping them in a ready-to-go status can cut a significant amount of time. 2. Consider using duplicate jigs for performing alignment and other adjustments before the changeover process begins. 3. Modify equipment to make it safer to perform tasks, like cleaning, while the machine is running. Four. Equipment portability and customization can reduce the number of interfaces or interactions, resulting in significantly faster changeover times. For example, designing equipment on skids can make each piece highly mobile. Step 4 is to locate parallel activities. Parallel activities are independent of each other and can be performed simultaneously. Moving on to Step 5, we streamline all aspects of the setup procedure. This includes the use of parallel operations, eliminating adjustments, and reducing the number of movements or actions required. We want to make the process as efficient and effective as possible. Some of the easiest ways to streamline elements include replacing bolts with quick releases or other functional clamps, eliminating adjustments by standardizing numerical settings, using centerlines and shims to standardize die sizes, cutting out motion by adjusting the layout of workspaces, standardizing hardware to use fewer tools, and reducing wait times. Step 6 is create the short-term plan, validate results, and set action plan. We simulate to identify potential concerns. Compare the trial procedure time with the original time. Develop an action plan which assigns responsibilities to implement medium and long-term plan. In Step 7, document new procedures for short-term changeover on standard operation sheets. Hold regular meeting to monitor the implementation of medium and long-term improvement ideas. Ensure all operators-slash-changeover staffs are fully trained in the new methods, monitor and audit adherence to new standard operation procedure. Finally, Step 8 is about continuous improvement. This is where we review and refine the process always seeking ways to improve setup times and efficiency. Remember, SMED is not a one-time fix but a continual process of improvement. In conclusion, SMED is a powerful tool for manufacturers, enabling you to reduce setup times and increase productivity. By following these seven steps, you can drive efficiency in your operations, just like the best pit crew in a car race. So. Gear up for the race of efficiency and productivity. Implement the seven steps of SMED and leave your competition in the dust. Thank you for watching, and remember, every second counts.